What's going on, everyone? It's Abdallah here, back again with even more Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX on Game Boy Color and, of course, Nintendo 3DS. We are continuing on with our 100% walkthrough, and we've got a long episode today. Our previous two episodes have been around, like, 30, 20 minutes, but if you guys are following along with this 100% walkthrough, then you guys know that we've got a lot of things to do. We've got to get bombs, we've got to get a shovel, we've got to get a stick, we've got to get golden leaves, We've got to get a magic powder upgrade, we've got to get 12 seashells, 2 heart pieces, and of course we're going to be going through the entire key cavern to beat up the slime eye and get the sea lily's bell. Did I get all of that correct? I think so. Anyway, <laughs> we got some work ahead of us. So uh, anyway, thanks so much for coming. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know that I'm super excited for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on Nintendo Switch. And uh, we do have some pretty cool giveaway that we're going to be doing, so uh, stay tuned to my social media on that. But anyway, it's good to see all you guys. Thanks for coming. Anita's here. Jenny's here. Pika Gamer. Fluffy Hamster's in the house. Thanks for coming. We got Ash. We got Jin Woo. We got Jeremy. We got Peyton. Michelle. Hello. Uh, Mason's here too. Juan. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> anyway, let's let's do some work. All right. So uh, I've got 252. I think we're. I think yeah. I think we're ready to go. I can start picking some stuff up too, which is uh, pretty awesome. Let me see if I remember how to play this game. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so we got to go back to Mabe Village. Um, we got to go back to Mabe Village and go collect uh, our bomb. Oh gosh, yeah, we got to go get our, our bombs now. So let's go do that really quick. Oh dang, yeah, here, you know what? I'll do this really quick. So this is Crazy Tracy. Uh, Crazy Tracy loves rubbing that lotion all over Link. So, uh, yeah, we do it. Absolutely. For 28 rupees, we are going to give it to her. And so she's going to rub that potion all over us. And she applied her own secret medicine. It'll take effect when you lose all your hearts. Drop by again, big guy. All right. <laughs> so that's going to be our savior right there i don't know if you guys know but that is definitely our savior because what that is it's a 28 um 28 rupees for it's for it's just like a, a free revive like imagine red potion right if you guys have played zelda games before it's red potion and you're able to just have it without a bottle which is kind of crazy but anyway that's what we need to do so, uh, yeah, a lot of things over here are opening up, and like I told you guys earlier, there's a lot of things that we gotta do. So, let's go get some bombs, let's go, uh, let's go get our shovel, we got a whole bunch of things to do. So, anyway, thanks for being here. Anyway, so, you could, you guys can do a lot of things in the shop here. You can steal the stuff, because if you steal it, um, you just gotta walk behind him, and then just walk your way out. And you can steal if you don't have the rupees, but I mean there's plenty of rupees in the game So there's no reason for you to actually steal that stuff And so I'm gonna grab bombs too. I'm ten bombs Yeah, yeah, we're good. So that's also really cool. Um, I guess I'm good <laughs> If you do end up stealing it He calls you thief throughout the entire rest of the game and your name isn't like link or whatever the heck you made it uh, So that's pretty crazy. Anyway, we got some work now now that we got our shovel uh, we need to, whoa, uh, we need to actually use it, and we need to start finding some of our, our little, like, sea secret seashells? That's how you get the Master Sword in the game, or the Level 2 Sword, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, it's time that we actually give Bow Wow back, so let's go over here and let's get the best reward in the entire game, right? Here, watch. The best reward in the entire game for giving Bow Wow back. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know. Smooch! You got a reward from Madame Meow Meow. Lucky. So she just gave us like the biggest reward ever. It was a big kiss. That was nice, right? Yo, get out of here, lady. <laughs> anyway. So here we go. Boom! Look at that. It's a secret seashell. Yeah, we needed that. Alright, so that's number two. If you guys are playing along with, that's numero dos. Alright. Um... Yeah, we got a lot more. So let's go, let's go pick them all up. And trust me, you're gonna want to pick up every single one of these simply because you're gonna get that uh, that level two sword, and it's gonna be so strong. So you don't want to mess out on that. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> this is such good music. It's like it's so old though, right? This game is old. Man, I'm, I was like watching some of my videos of Link's Awakening on Nintendo Switch, and like, just seeing the difference between this is really insane. Anyway, 
So we need this. Boom! That's number three, baby. Okay. Good. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to go up a little bit. And we gotta go enter a cave, and there's gonna be a heart piece for us, so we're gonna go over here. <laughs> yeah, this game is 20 years- hold on, I got the feather, don't I? What am I afraid of that little gap for? Ooh. Whee! Alright, let's see if we can get inside here. Oh my gosh, that's- that's- that's one of the annoying things, too, about this game, is that whenever you want to, um... Oh, I can't do anything here, can I? No, I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything here, but, but I do have a heart piece that I do have to get. I have to use the hookshot for that one, so check this out. Yeah, we need the hookshot for that one. Anyway, so in The Legend of Zelda on Nintendo Switch, uh, The Link's Awakening, you don't ever have to worry about equipping your sword and your shield or anything like that. It's just automatically equipped. Which is so good, because now you're not like, alright, what should I put in my right hand or my left hand? Like, none of that is even a thing in the new in the new versions, which is good. Anyway, so we passed this up in a previous episode, so now that we're able to lift up the skulls with the little um, bracelet, power bracelet, whatever you want to call it, since we're able to do that, we can uh, easily get our our fourth heart piece, as you guys can see this over here. All right, super cool. Let's get out of here. All right, man. This is this is a cool game. All right. Anyway, so we need to do we need to do something else. Let me see. <laughs> oh man. All right, jumping over. Uh, nope, that's not where I want to go. There is one secret bush that we have to go explore and find. So let's go find that really quick. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? Uh, thanks for tuning in for the daily dose of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Oh boy, do I have so much planned for this game when it comes out on Switch. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. <laughs> Alright, so see that rock over there? Whoa, 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 chill guys, chill. Oh, dude, that was a trade. Oh man, that guy. Alright, so this rock, we're gonna have to lift this up and do some work. Check this out. Okay, here we go. So, now that we're over here, we got that big powder, and we're gonna sprinkle it right there, and then we're gonna summon the devil. Truly, we're summoning the devil. Hey, kid. You woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now, I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Yes? <laughs> no I'll let you carry more magic powder. Haha, <laughs> are you ready? Yes. So he electrifies us, and somehow we've got bigger pockets. Makes sense. Back in 1990, what, 1993 when this game came out? Man. Anyway, so his idea of revenge is uh, forcing us to carry more things. Okay, that totally works out for you then, buddy. Nice try. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna get out of here a little bit. We're gonna go visit, uh, oof, the witch area, and we're gonna see what we can get. Yeah, his idea of revenge is super generous. I love that. <laughs> yes, Jorge, I agree with you. Absolutely. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. I'm going to... Let's see... Um... Hmm... Yes. We're gonna go... Okay. We're gonna go into this graveyard. We're gonna go into the graveyard. And you see this little bush right here? Yeah, it's totally, uh, inconspicuous. Look at these zombies! This is the first instance of zombies, guys. In Link's Awakening, there are zombie enemies. Someone tell me the name, the actual canon name of these zombie dudes. That's insane. Yo, real zombies, though. Okay. Real zombies. But see, it's not like like zombies like that we know nowadays in like 2019 where it's uh, if you get bit by a zombie then you turn into a zombie. No, none of that. Um, so luckily for us, that's not the case. All right, anyway, we got some work to do over here. Now typically you can uh, you can do this part with a hookshot, but we're gonna kind of cheese this a little bit. 
Um, I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna go. Oh dang! No! 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 Ah, oh, did that totally wrong. No! No, we did it right. Here we go. Check this out. What? Nope, that clearly was not what I'm trying to do. Um, how about this? Okay, okay, I'm running out of hearts. I better get this right. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, it's hard to do. What? Oh yeah! Yeah, like a ninja, dude. Flipping all over the place, this flipping guy. Okay, so that's how you get that without the hook shot. Ooh. All right. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So that was fun. And there's a zombie, and he bit me, and I'm not turning into a zombie, so I'm good. Okay, let's move on. I need some hearts, though. So, riddle me this, Batman. I picked up a heart container, but yet I didn't get refilled on hearts? What? What kind of game are we playing here? Anyway. Here's hoping that one of these little grass blades drops some more hearts. Because I do not want to be, um... I don't want to go die. I'm not in the mood to die. Because we remember, this is a 100% walkthrough. We need that secret ending, man. Anyway. Do I have the I don't think I have the Pegasus boots yet. No, I don't. That's gonna we're gonna get that in this episode for sure. <laughs> Yo, blue rupees? Increasing your rupee count by one? How wrong is that? Alright, pop quiz for you guys, and I like quizzing your knowledge of Legend of Zelda. So typically, a blue rupee is worth how many rupees? Alright, first person to answer it gets a shout out. Go. First person to answer it gets a shout out. You guys go crazy. Dang! Yo, Muffin Land with a fiver. Good job. Way to go, buddy. Yeah, so it's a five. It's typically a five. And that's why I say typically, because like, oh, Abdallah, in Link's Awakening, they're blue rupees and they're worth one. Right? Anyway. Okay, so remember we were in Tail Cave before. Uh, this was uh, level one, and whoa, okay, I don't want to warp there, but all right, that's fine. So in Tail Cave, we mentioned in episode one that we'd be backtracking over here once we get some more bombs. And now that we have the bombs, we can easily come over here and do some work. Ouch, dude, really? Oh, that's four rupees, or three rupees, we'll take that. Anyway, yeah, a lot of you guys guessed five, good job. Give me that. All right, so here we go. Crack in the wall. Coming on over here, getting this. Ta-da! That's a seashell. Yeah, we needed that. So that's our number five, guys. We need like 20. So we got we got our work cut out ahead of us. Anyway, let's continue. Okay. All right, so now we need to make our way all the way over to the seashell. Uh, Seashell Shrine. <laughs> I dare you to say that five times fast. She- Seashell- Oh my, I can't even do it one time fast. Seashell Shrine, Seashell Shrine, Seashell Shrine, Seashell Shrine, Seashell Shrine. I think I did it. I think I did it. Anyway. So let's go hit that up. Seashell Shrine. Give me that. No rupee left ungathered, right? We gotta- we gotta- oh my gosh. If we want 980 rupees, we need to make sure that we pick these up. Alright, anyway. So, we're gonna go all the way east. And by going all the way east, we're gonna go by Richard's house. Which is gonna be a, a real big player in this game. Richard. And then, uh, yeah, we're all set. So, anyway. It's good to see you guys. Thanks for coming. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying the gameplay. Yeah, it's an old game, for sure. And yeah, I've never actually 100%ed this game, so it's gonna be new to me. But I'm, I'm pretty familiar with like what to do in this game, so I guess that's kind of fun for me too. Anyway, so we got the heart, that's pretty cool. Here goes a warp path if you wanted to go warping. So that's gonna be relatively convenient for us. Uh, I can't wait for that, that'd be really good. Alright, that's a fairy fountain right up here. I don't necessarily feel the need to blow it up, but just to show you guys that what it is, you got that there. So pretty great. Hey Aaron, what's going on? Really enjoying the Let's Play, thanks for doing this. Can't wait to get the remake on Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah, same here. Thanks. And there's a little honeycomb over there. We're gonna need that a little bit later. And since we got bombs, we might as well blow up this thing. Make ourselves a little shortcut. Alright, so we're coming this way. Uh, 
Oh, I hate those jumping things. Anyway, so there's the little phone booth. In case you get stuck and you don't know where to go, the phone booth is right there for you. We're going to put away our bombs. This area is going to be pretty interesting. I don't necessarily want to mess around with the monkey right now, but we do have the bananas. So, I mean, we're here. It's a monkey. Ooh, ooh. Give to Kiki. We have the bananas. Remember, on like one of the first episodes, we did the full trading sequence. Uh, how many guys remember the beginning of the trading sequence? Shout out to whoever paid attention in the first couple episodes. Give me the trading sequence in a comment and you'll get a shout out. Oh, ooh, Kiki. Monkeys. Come repay him, Kiki. What items did we have to trade in order to get the monkey's bananas? I can tell you off the top of my head. Because it was only done like two days ago. Anyway. Ah, uh, later monkeys. So the monkeys built a bridge and we got a stick. You found a stick, a monkey left behind. You take it. Anyway, so we got this uh, monkey stick, but we're, we're not ready for that yet. Ouch, dude, that hurts. One whole heart gone. Anyway. Uh, so where we're at right now is the, uh, Shell Shrine. Seashell Mansion. Did anyone get it? Yoshi Bo Dog Food Bananas Vintage Dutch Girl 1. Yeah. That's exactly it. Ta-da! You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. So, by submitting five of them, we got our sixth one. I don't know if you saw that, but that's what happened. So, we got six seashells right now. We got the stick, too, which is good. And then now we're going to go get the five golden leaves. And we didn't even talk to Richard yet. I don't feel that we need to talk to him. I think we just need to go get the leaves. Ooh! Whoa, dang, that's number six? Oh, or that's number seven? Uh, I'm going ahead of myself here. All right, that's seven, technically. Uh, anyway. So, let's do this. This is gonna be a little tough here, because these little golden leaves are pretty interesting. Alright, anyway. So, let's go see who we have. Alright, there's the phone booth. Um, there's the entrance. Alright, we're going in. Alright, how many guys know the name of this enemy? Whoa. Whoa, that's, uh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, man! One rocked me. Are you kidding me? What's the name of that enemy? I, I honestly don't know. You guys are gonna have to school me on that one. Oh, it's absolutely a Goomba. You're right. Sega and the Pikachu fan. You're right. Dude, it is a Goomba. How'd you know? Oh, gosh. I don't like trading with this guy. Yow, man! Chill. Okay, so there's a raven in the, in the like, tree right over there. So we're gonna have to throw the rock at him in order for him to get off the tree. And then we just catch the leaf. All right, so that's one out of four golden leaves. And now let's continue. All right, all right. You know I don't like trading with him either. Unless he's like going sideways. So we're over here at like Canalette Castle. And there's a couple things on the outside. Oh! Oh! There we go. All right, so this one's kind of annoying right here, this thing. Yeah, because bombs take one full heart away. This guy. Oh! Oh, that hurts so much. This guy, man. Yo! Dude, I gotta give up, man. I don't know how I'm gonna beat this guy. He's so strong. And I can't bomb I can't shield bombs either. Yo, he already took half my health without even flinching this guy. What a fool. Stop. Stop it! All right. Yo, that's two golden leaves. We're good. All uh, right, let's move on. Yo, that was intense, though. I mean, are you kidding me? A bomb taking a full heart away? Man, if you were rocking a three-heart challenge in this game, dude, I feel sorry for it. If you got hit by one of those, you're dead. You're practically donezo. Oh, dang. Oh, that's half a heart. Ouch. Yo, chill, guys. All right, so if I lose my hearts, it's not a big deal, right? It's not a big deal. You know why? Because I got that ointment. I got that <laughs> I got crazy Stacy's ointment, so we're good. Anyway. So the castle gate uh, just opened. Uh, that's fine. We can make our way in. 
I'm actually getting really nervous right now because like there's a lot of pressure on this let's play. I cannot lose. So if I lose all of my hearts, I gotta like escape route. Oh, dude, come on, man, that stunk. I gotta like escape route out of here. Oh gosh, dude, I'm donezo. I gotta go. Okay, that's number three. I gotta- I really have to go. I gotta abandon ship, man. That guy right there, he's a pain! Alright, well, here's hoping. Where's the fourth one? Yeah! Did I miss the fourth one somewhere? Uh, it's somewhere here. Okay. Uh, knock the bird, got the bird. Uh, kill the enemy, get another gold leaf. Oh, I didn't do that. Alright, well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to knock this guy out. There's one of the- one of the guards drops another leaf, and he's on the outside, so I skipped over him because I didn't want to do the exchange, but... I hope these have some hearts. I'm- I may end up just using my bombs. This is so scary right now. Oh, one heart! Okay, hey, if that has one heart, I can come in and out over here, right? And respawn the one harder? Yeah! There we go! That's how old games work! Come here! One heart at a time, man. Ooh, boy. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, here we go. And for some reason, you crack a pot on the door and the door opens. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but... Anyway, I got seven bombs, and if I, if I need to... Yo! Yoink! Yeah, enjoy that, punk. Boom! Yo, fl flawless victory. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, want one of those? Hey! Boom! Flawless victory, baby! I was afraid of that guy. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. So I need one more. I was honestly afraid of that dude, but I beat him up. Can I jump down? No. Okay. The last one is right over here. It's- it- I don't think it's these two. I think it's the people underneath him. Oh! Oh my! Oh my! Get off me, friends! Boom! That was it. That's the fifth leaf. We're done. We're out of here. I'm out. Goodbye. Never have to see this again. Now, it's like, we gotta talk to Richard about that key. But, like, we haven't even met Richard, so where is that text coming from? Right? Haha, <laughs> that's weird. Anyway, so this is good. We're gonna go straight down. We're gonna go hit it. Ooh, watch out for that guy. Alright, so Richard's house is gonna be, I think, either one of these two ways. Yeah, yeah, Richard's house this way. Here we go. Richard! Alright, Richie! Richie Rich! Where are you? Where's your house at, dude? Yeah, this is Richard's house, I think? Yeah, yeah, Richard has, like, pothole, like, planes or whatever. So we're good. Hey, Richard! What's up, buddy? Salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee to my villa. So, you want the key to the Ukuku Prairie, do you? I may be able to help you. Let's make a deal, shall we? I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Okay? No way. <laughs> no way, dude. Not worth it. Uh, I'm impressed. There are five leaves in all. Remember to buy a shovel on your way back. Um, guy, move? Move, dude. Are you gonna move? Ah, Tres Bien. I see you have recovered. <laughs> okay, all the leaves. Uh, now this box, and you will find your reward. Yeah, I said get the heck out of the way, dude. I'm trying to move here, man. This guy. Oh! This guy, man. Richard. 
make me do his dirty work and collect his dumb leaf. I'm like, hello, Richard. Hey, it's a shell. Okay, dude, we have eight now. All right? Hey, I don't know, man. Yeah, we do have eight. Yes, this is officially eight. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay, so now we gotta play this game. This game called, like, why in the world does Richard have all of these holes in his backyard that he dug himself? Ah, uh, that's the wrong button. I'm, I'm thinking I'm playing like- Dude, what's the B button? <laughs> what's the B button? I'm thinking like I'm playing the Ninten Nintendo Switch version where you can assign the rock's feather to like X or Y, and I'm pressing like X and Y. Okay, so yeah, answer me this, guys, in the comments. Like, why are there so many holes? Ugh! Why are there so many holes in this guy's backyard? What was he? What is he? What is he doing? What's he thinking about? Ugh! Is he, like, trying to ward away, like, enemies? Hello? Oh, in soil sleep secrets beneath your souls. Alright, yeah, yeah. That's why he said bring the shovel. Doink! Got it. Okay. So we got the slime key. We got it. Good, good, good. Okay. So, uh, that was good. Now, we gotta go all the way back. And, like, the grass grows so quick, these bushes here, it's pretty insane. You gotta go back. Gotta go back now. Uh, he has a Monty Mole infestation, Peyton, is that right? That's, that's a good, that's a good reason to have all these holes. Maybe, uh! Yo, dude, I hate these holes. Guy. Get me out of here. What's his honest problem? <laughs> all right, all right. I fell way too many times, but it doesn't matter as long as I'm at full health, so we're good. All right, let's get out of here. We got the slime key. We can technically go to the key cavern, which is the next dungeon, but we have a little bit more exploring to do for our 100% walkthrough. So don't you worry. Okay, I'm done, man. Okay, so there's a rock somewhere nearby and I gotta lift it up and there's gonna be a secret seashell underneath. So we gotta go find that. There's a rock nearby okay let's see let's see okay so here we go we're gonna go i'm looking for this rock Ooh, it could be over here you know what i think it is over here yeah was that a good trade probably not that's the rock all right here we go Ooh, big, a big arrow to the dome, man. He doesn't even have a bow. These little piggies are just tossing these things. Anyway. Boom, number nine. That, that's pretty good so far. Okay. All right, so we got to go inside that little cave next. So let's take a look. Watch out, bombs! Oh, dude, bombs are devastating in this game. All right, anyway, we got some work to do. Uh, is there something bombable in here? Oh! Oh! <laughs> what in the world? Don't you dare come near me, you little mushroom guy. I hate those dudes. Okay, interesting. 
Okay, go north. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see where the spot is. Okay, so there's a seashell there for sure. And then there's another secret over there that I can't quite get yet. Hmm. Pew. Let's look around. Yo, guys, can you just quit? I might lose here. Ah! Is it in here? Dude, really? I hate these things. Okay. I don't think that's it. Hmm. The game's getting a little too cryptic on me. Oh, dang, that is it. What? Oh, gosh. That's cool. <laughs> like, honestly, how are you supposed to know that? Like, oh my gosh. Anywho. Okay, slowly, 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 give me that. Explode these dudes. Oh, I don't know if I should, uh, maybe? What's the point of that? Oh, I don't know what the point of that is. We're here! We're here, we're here! Alright, so now we're gonna be doing some digging once I get these guys out of my face. Whew! Wow, that was a little intense. Alright, anyway. Yeah! No? Yeah, there it is! <laughs> okay. Alright. That was a little rough. Okay, so we got it. That's number 10. Um, yeah, we should have 10. So let's take a look. Our image. Yeah, we have 10. That's perfect. Yo, this is actually going pretty well. <laughs> Woohoo, yeah. Alright, let me out of here. Please let me out of here. You. Uh, I don't think that was the way I was supposed to go. Alright, let's try one more time. Bump, bump, bump. Mm, that's also not the way I'm supposed to go. Mm. Oh my gosh, happy birthday to me. Look at that. Yo, these guys both threw two bombs at me, and I lost all my hearts. Alright, so I need to figure this little part out. Oh, how easy- no, that was not it. Um, so if I push this up, then I can not do anything. Oh, I see. The way to go around is through this. That's why they put that little raised elevation there. Hello. Hmm, Zelda puzzles from the 1990s. Wow. Go me. No, we need to really get some food, though. Like, I'm dying here. Not in real life. I had a little- I had a snack before I streamed, so we're good. Alright, so we're making our way this way. Uh, yeah, I need some food. I need something. Yo, not yet! We're not going to Animal Village yet. Let me tell you about that little bush there, though. Dude, ow, what the heck, man? That little bush. So I was playing this game blind on uh, on a flight home from Seattle. And I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get to Animal, Vill Animal Village at all. And it was just through that one bush. And you just had to open it and it's a secret pathway. Like, what a joke. You had to be in the right place at the right time. Anywho. So, uh, now that we've got ten. Exactly ten. Uh, we are going to open this up. And it's going to be our number 11th seashell. So that's how you get numero 11 Oh, So anyway, you can see that we've got 11 on, on board right now, so that's good. Okay. Oh my gosh. Please don't kill me. I just need hearts, thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh, leave me alone. You guys are punks. So you guys think those are spears, but they're not. They're the same sprite as uh, Link's arrows are, I think. We'll, we'll look at them.
Leave me alone, fools. Okay. So now, there's going to be a... Oh my gosh, that hurts. The bush somewhere. Uh, what? Is that the bush we're talking about here? Um... I don't think so. Let me, let me try something here. <laughs> this is really silly, and I don't know if it's actually going to work, but uh, let me try something. Oh, I don't have Pegasus boots yet. Interesting. So number 12, our, our 12... Oh, oh, there's number 12. Hey! Okay, that's silly. <laughs> I remember when I played this game off-screen, uh, blind, what I did with the Pegasus boots was that, like, I ran, and then I jumped, and then in mid-air, I switched to the sword, and I swiped like a bush. And I think that's how you get over there, but anyway. Okay, so we gotta go to the Key Cavern, man. We gotta go hit up Key Cavern, and then we pretty much win. Uh, let's go find out where Key Cavern is. Ooh, do I even remember where Key Cavern is? Hmm. Oh, Key Cavern's near Richard's house. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, gosh. Yo, dude, did that guy take a whole heart from me? What is their problem? Wow. Ugh. Help. Oh, my gosh. That's Animal Village. We're gonna come right over this way. Can you stop? All right. Forget it. Dude, these guys? Little punks. Come here. One, two, three, four, and I got a heart. Hey, and I got that. I don't really need it, but we're good. Okay. So now I need to find my way through to the slime key. like this way. I'm gonna go in here really quick. Just to get uh, my hearts back. Yeah, I need I need two hearts. Ah, <sighs> good times. Alright, so hmm trying to jog my memory. Oh, dang. What was that? Let's take a look. I think I may be getting ahead of myself right here. Yeah, I don't have Pegasus boots, so that's not worth it just yet. So that's definitely Pegasus boots worthy. Key Cavern, though? Hmm, I think it's over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, key cavern. Found it. <laughs> it was hiding on me. A couple screens away. Okay, we gotta go around, and then we gotta go jump on some water platforms from right over here. So we're set. Oh, man. Yep. If you jump, you don't have to, like, wade through all the, like, the tall grass, which is pretty cool. Okay, here we are. Key Cavern. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so what a weird pattern, am I right? Check this out. You wish! What? There we go. <laughs> Give me that. Alright, so that's number 13. Dude, guys. We're all set. We are 100% all set with everything that we needed uh, to continue on with this 100% walkthrough, so I'm so happy. That's all the collecting that we're going to be doing at this point. So let's jump into Key Cavern, and uh, let's beat it, shall we? Alright, so level 3, Key Cavern, thanks so much for coming. 
if you guys are enjoying the stream, be sure to share it and uh, drop a like on the video if you guys are excited for Link's Awakening. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Key Cavern over here. Can't really do anything there because we don't have the Pegasus Boots. You guys can actually go watch my video on YouTube right now and just type in Link's Awakening Key Cavern Abdallah. And actually, I want you guys to do that. And then say you're here from Link's Awakening DX and then I'll heart each of those comments. Uh, anyway, Nintendo allowed me to capture direct footage of the full Key Cavern, and I posted that on YouTube. And it's the full Key Cavern of uh, the Nintendo Switch version. Which, as you guys can see, is going to be like a square by square exact replica of this game, which is so crazy cool. Anywho. Yo, dude, those guys bit me! Alright. Sorry, Slimer. Alright, let's do some work. Yeah! Alright, so we want to show you guys all of the rooms, right? Ew, yuck, I hate those guys! Yoof! Ouch, dude, I'm dying. I'm legit dying right now. What the heck? I hate that guy. Alright, well... Yo, man, what's your problem? Really? Okay, I gotta just toss a, a stupid thing at this dude. Look at his ugly face! Ugh! Okay, there we go. Wow, am I dying? Whew. Anyway. Got some work uh, cut out ahead of us, so let's go this way. Yuck! <sighs> I'm in for a world of hurt, aren't I? Anyway, here we go. So, what's weird about these dudes, and I have no idea what their names are, nor do I actually care, because they're so annoying, is that you walk up to them, and then they throw ninja stars at you! So what you should really do is do a little bit of this. I think I can get away with it. What? No, what? Where did the other one go? Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. There we go. No! <laughs> Wait, my key! What happens to it now? Mamma mia, that's so annoying. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button for jump. And I have no more bombs, so there is that. Mamma mia. Alright, I'm gonna have to do some quick work here. Check this out. I was not expecting to do this. Stop, you guys are so annoying. Yeah, come on back here. Yeah, I'm gonna shred you, dude. Yeah, get over here. You want some of this? Yeah, now where? Yeah, that's what I- Oh, dude, get over here, dude. I have no bombs. <laughs> yeah, spawn right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's right. Predicted, kid. Alright, give me that. Alright, so we had to show that spot. Now, you can easily go through this level without having to go in that one door. You can completely skip that door. Stupid guys. Ugh. Anyway. So we're gonna destroy all the little slimes in this area. And hopefully some of them drop some hearts, man. Hey, I'll take that. Okay, picked up a big key right that way. All right, watch out for these dudes. Hearts? Hearts? Anyone? No? Okay, that's fine. I, I don't need any. Oh, these fools. Yeah! Okay, that's that's perfectly fine. You want to do this? You want to play this game? Come here. Let's play this game. I will play. I have two, one and a half hearts. I will play this game. You ready? Thank you. Needed that. <laughs> yeah, this just got serious. 
Oh man, wasted. Yow though. Uh anyway. Go beat up that guy. Any hearts? Can a guy get a heart? Really? Okay, that's cool. We don't need any hearts, we're fine. I got one and a half, we're good. You. Hey, hearts. No, it's rupees, dang. 50 rupees is good though. Remember, we need 980. So we'll take those, I guess. All right, so that's one way down. Uh, the gimmick in this one is bombing walls. And if you guys pay attention to the wall right over there, right by that bomb, there is a little crack in it. So we're gonna bomb it from the opposite side, even though it looks like a clean wall. So uh, keep that in mind. That's kind of giving you the little secret to why you're able to bomb right there. Just by uh, being on top of this floor. Kind of cool, right? All right, anyway, I need some hearts, man. I need some hearts or else I'm done. And I don't want to eat this potion. I don't want to down the potion at all. Slimes? Leave me alone, slime family. None of you guys gave me hearts. What fools. Oh, gosh. I don't have any bombs for those guys. I have ten bombs. Uh, maybe I could do it with ten bombs. All right, let me see if I get a couple more bombs. And then we're going to go beat up those Dodongo snakes. Am I right? Dodongo snakes? Oh, dang, a heart. Whoa. Whoa, respawnable heart? Oh, dang, I wish! Oh, man. <laughs> uh, the game is not gonna allow me to cheese it. That's fine, that's fine. I, I got I got some work. Come here. Oh, you gotta feed these dudes. No! Yeah, that was three in a row, baby. One. Two. Look at what? Give me that. Give me that fairy. You just force feed those guys. You just force feed them and they're set, man. All right. So anyway, uh, that was really cool. That was a mini boss of the, of the dungeon and we did it. So now we got the Pegasus boots. Hey. Pegasus boots. I was waiting for these things, man. All right, so you guys can notice right now that there are these little blocks. And whenever you have those blocks, all you have to do is run through them with your Pegasus boots, and then you'll be all set. Which is kind of cool. So we can go that way, but I'm not going to just yet. So check this out. All right, so this looks really peculiar. Am I right? I think we should bomb it. All right. Super cool, right? Dang, another crack in the wall, I think. We should bomb it too. Boom! Alright. Don't you dare throw anything. Hey, we'll take that. That's cool. Okay, so Guardian Acorn, yep, reduces damage by half. See, like, this part in the game is, like, where you're like, alright, let me, let me take this item off my hand. Let me go equip something else. Uh, now we gotta do some flying. You guys ready for some high-flying acrobatics? Check this out! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, dude, check this out. Whoa! Pretty cool, huh? Alright, I guess I'm gonna drop down. Oh, thanks. I didn't take any damage from that. Whatever. How many keys do I have? I need four keys. And I have no map. So, there's also that. Anyway, I think we should go back a little bit here. I don't know what's in here, but let's go. Oh, this idiot? No way. Oh, dude, come on. Stupid. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I didn't, I'm not taking any damage because I got the uh, Guardian Acorn. Pretty cool. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm remembering now. Remember the spot where we were up on top elevation and we showed that there was a wall? Uh, there was a wall that we needed to bomb. We gotta go do that. So, I gotta go do that really quick. But I'm gonna grab this, and I don't think there's a reason for this room, to be honest. Like, I just use the key to jump in here. And I could hit a switch. I honestly don't know what the point of that switch is. Oh, this is a pointless room. You don't really need it. 
Look at me holding the L button. Wow, I'm holding the L button to dash. What game am I playing? <laughs> what game am I playing if I'm thinking that I could hold the L button to dash? Link's Awakening. Good job. Dude, really? Anyway, here we go. Bombs. Bombs on ya. All right, let's go. Let's go. Who's here? Three, two, one. Explode. Whoa. Hey, dude, that's a whole heart. Dang, man. All right, whatever. That countdown was like five seconds, not three seconds. Uh, let's move. Uh, what's also really cool is the sword dash attack is twice as strong as a regular swipe. So in case you wanted to, I don't know, dash through someone with even more power, you can do so with that, which is kind of cool. Anyway, so we got the compass. I honestly don't know where the map is. It's probably over here. We'll find it. Anyway, we gotta bomb this stuff. Now that was the room that we were talking about earlier. Bomb! Zanya! Alright, great. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so there's another key. Ooh, dang, we're getting all these keys. There's the beginning of the dungeon where we have to go backtrack to. Unfortunately, because if you guys can see this map over here, um, there's four chests that I have to go get. So, if we want to collect all the chests and get all the rupees, I would definitely suggest we're going to do that. Unfortunately, there's a lot of um, like ball enemy like recycling in this game. Like even if you leave, ow, dude, what the heck? Even if you leave a room, how many keys do I have? I got three. All right, well, I mean, I need one more key in order to get to the final boss area. So anyway, let's see what's up. Bump on a bump. Bump on a bump. Oh, where am I going? Okay, this is pointless. I should go up. Hey, there's a chest. Hey, there's a bird's beak. Okay, so that's a stone beak. Don't necessarily need that. Oh, yeah, and then there's some rupees over here. Got you. And then there was the little switch. That's what the point of that switch was. Okay, remember that switch? And now that we have the Pegasus boots, we can do a couple things. So check this out. So remember we hit that switch once? That allows us to grab this. There's the map we were looking for. Great. <laughs> anyway, we got the map. We're all set. Doo -doo 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 ding I hate these bombs. Yeah. All right, so if we're able to dash over here, we can kill this little slime, and that's gonna give us that chest right over that way, which is going to be, I believe, just some rupees, but hey, you know what? A poor guy like Link, he'll take all the rupees he can get. Twenty. Oh, whoa, dang, it's a two hundo. Whoa, okay, you're ecstatic. That's big money, guys. That's real big money. Dang, son. Yo, 200, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Anyway, so here's our last key. That's all we needed. And then now we're on our way to the boss. Dun, dun, dun. Take this little warp. Go halfway across court. Uh, head on down this way, and we deposit our four keys. Here's number one. Here's number two. Number three. Number four. And we're in. Hey, what is that? A thwomp? Is that a thwomp or a womp? <laughs> or a neither of the above, because it's Zelda, and there's no such thing. Hello? Look at that shocked face that he has. Oh my gosh, what is that? I've never seen that enemy in my life! Get me out of here! Ouch! Dang, dude, that hurt like heck! Spikes, though? Stupid spikes. Yo, what was that? I've never seen a plant like that in my life, dude, and I got a long life. 
<laughs> what was that? Oh no! Okay, here we go. So watch this. This is easy breezy. Slice them! Don't you dare ninja star me. Watch, watch, watch. Check this out. It's okay if I got hit. Check this out. <laughs> got him! Alright, anyway. So we need to do a little bit of jumping. Uh, jumping. There we go. That gives us three hearts. I don't think we need the full heart. I think we're okay. We might get it here. We might get it here. Check this out. There's bats in this room. You may not see them. They're very hard to see. Ow! What the? Oh! Ugh. You gotta KO all the bats and you might get something good. What's this extra key for? I don't know. Neener, neener, you can't find me, nya nya. Yeah? Boom, let me knock you off the ceiling, boy. Yo, it's Slime Eye. And I still have the power up, guys. I still have the power. Oh, come on. I still have the um, power of courage. Dude, poke him in the dang eye. What is his problem? Spread him, dude. Spread them. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Spread them, fool. There we go. All right, all right. Anyway. I thought they had to be spread a lot more. Yo, spread them! Spread them, he says. Oh, dang, your boy hit me. Your boy hit me once. All right, whatever. I was gonna go flawless victor on these dumb slimes. Anyway, so the gimmick there is you're supposed to keep on, um... You're supposed to keep on slicing them until his eyeballs kind of spread a little bit more. I thought there was one more level of spread. From what I played on the Switch version, dude, he was spread real thin, and you just slice right through him like butter. So anyway, guys, hey dude, in an hour, we were able to get a whole bunch of stuff. That's not bad. Yo. And I didn't even save beforehand. You know, I don't think I need to save beforehand anymore. Like, I, I think I could beat this game without dying once. What do you guys think? Should could we do it? Is it easy? Oh man, that's, that's pretty intense though. That's pretty intense. Alright, well... Guys, that's it. That's it for the episode. Let me, uh, let me, let me save somehow. Uh, how do you... There we go. Alright, hit create a restore point. Ta-da! Restore point saved. Okay, cool. Well, guys, that's it. Round of applause emoji, yay! We did it. So, if you guys are playing along with, you guys did a lot of things with me. Okay? We got... Uh, we got bombs, we got ourselves a shovel, we got ourselves a stick, which is the next item in the trading sequence. We did the five golden leaves in order to talk to Richard and get all that stuff. We got the magic powder upgrade, so now we can hold on to 40 of them. We've also gotten all of the secret seashells up to number 13, which is big. We got, we're definitely going to need that. We also picked up two heart pieces along the way, got the slime key, beat up the key cavern, and now we're on our way to the next dungeon. But of course, that is going to be tomorrow's episode. So make sure that you guys are on board because we've got a lot to do on the next episode. It's going to be pretty intense. We've got another entire um, couple heart pieces to grab, a couple seashells to grab. Uh, we now have the, um, the way of cutting through with the Pegasus boots. So there's a couple things that we got to backtrack and hit. But it's going to be a cool one. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave a like on the video. Make sure that you guys are all subscribed, of course, uh, by clicking on that subscribe button. It only takes one click, and it's super easy, and it doesn't cost you anything. So subscribe. And uh, turn on notifications so you guys know when I'm going live next. It'll be probably the same time tomorrow, so make sure you guys are here. It's a pleasure seeing each and every one of you guys, all of you guys here. Anita, TV Dog, Danger, Oscar, Margarita, BWA Switch. Uh, we got Sans, Kotetsu, uh, who else is here? Peyton's here. All of you guys that stuck around to the very end, thanks for coming. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.